If you are looking for the best tablets for Photoshop, you are in the right place. We have tried to include in-depth information on tablets for Photoshop's in our video, which will be enough to fulfill all of your needs. All of them are maintaining their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturer, and in real customer feedback. If you want to buy a tablets for Photoshop's, we think this list will be very worthy to you. Now, let's get started with the video. At the first position of our list, we have Apple iPad Pro, latest model. The iPad Pros are the best tablets for creativity and editing tasks. The beautiful mixture of software and design makes it a beast for creative professionals. The addition of Apple's Moan chip is the biggest upgrade over the last year's iPad Pro. And it is right now the most powerful tablet money can buy. The display on the new iPad Pro is also a huge upgrade over its predecessor and is mainly focused on creative professionals. It is called Apple's Liquid Retina XDR display. XDR stands for extreme. So everything on the iPad Pro's display is now of extreme and utmost quality. It is super bright and has excellent viewing angles. The contrast ratios are insanely high and it produces deep blacks for an excellent dark room viewing experience. The content looks true to life and it gives an accurate view of color, which is crucial for editors. Apple threw in their Moan chip under the hood of the iPad Pro. So it has now the MacBook Pro, an iMac level of performance. But what limits its capability is its iPadOS. The Photoshop you would get on iPadOS is what we call the mobile version, which means fewer tools and less capability. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7, featured in the latter part of this guide, works on Windows OS, with the same form factor as iPad Pro but more capability. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. If you're looking for something Pro but at a lower price than iPad Pro, then the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 is for you. It has a massive 11 screen on the front that offers ample space for editing with a realistic viewing experience, thanks to its HDR10 Plus capabilities. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 is the newest contender in Samsung's Galaxy Tablets lineup. The innards are fresh and future-proof. The display on the Tab S7 supports a 120Hz refresh rate so the visuals appear super smooth and fluidic. This will enhance the overall experience of the tablet. Still, the high refresh rate will benefit video editors more than photo editors. It comes with a stylus within the box, so that's a nice thing as it will be super handy for editors and those who need to draw using Photoshop. Further, the viewing experience on the Tab S7 is delighted with HDR10 Plus capabilities, which significantly boosts the dynamic range, giving you a lifelike viewing experience. The performance is adequate, and it goes through any task you throw at it, thanks to its Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset. The apps open up quickly, and it gives you an instant preview of your edits, so that's a nice thing. Number 3 position is held by Microsoft Surface Pro 7. If you are looking for a perfect tablet for Photoshop, then your search should end here. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 supports the desktop Adobe Photoshop, making it one of the best tablets for photo editing purposes. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 houses a 12.3 massive display on the front, and it is the biggest in the segment. So if you are looking for a large tablet for Photoshop, the Surface Pro 7 is a tablet you should get. The colors are superb, viewing angles are wide, and it gives tough competition to the iPad Pro. In addition, it supports multi-touch, and it is super accurate while zooming and moving around your photographs. It also supports a stylus, and the Surface Pen costs a little bit extra. However, it gives a great sense of accuracy and provides precision while editing, so we recommend getting the Surface Pen as well. The design seems very purposeful, and it has a kickstand on the back so you can have various orientations. In addition to that, you get a USB Type-C port, a full-size USB port, and a micro SD card slot which is very handy for photographers. Now coming to the performance, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 packs an Intel IFIP chip under the hood, and it delivers enough horses to blast through editing tasks. However, if you also edit videos, we highly recommend buying the Icefin version of the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. Next at number 4, we have Apple iPad Air. The iPad Air is the lightest tablet, thinnest, and most value-for-money tablet for Photoshop in this list. It's the fourth generation of iPad Air, and it seems it has evolved so much. And now it looks like the iPad Pro with those rounded edges. The performance is uncompromised, like you would expect from a new Apple device. Apple's latest a 14 Bionic chip powers the tablet, 
and it ensures that you get the maximum power while doing heavy tasks such as editing. It also packs a dedicated 4-core GPU which further enhances the editing and drawing experience on the tablet. The design is quite similar to the iPad Pro, and the screen is edge-to-edge, -edge, so the viewing experience is excellent. However, it misses out on the 120Hz refresh rate and HDR capabilities, so if you need extra smoothness, consider buying the iPad Pro. Surprisingly, Apple did not ditch Touch ID on the new iPad Air, and that's the best thing about this tablet. It gets much-awaited USB Type-C, and it makes file transfers super seamless for photographers and creative professionals. It supports Apple Pencil and Keyboard Cover, but they are sold separately. We highly recommend getting the Apple Pencil because it adds precision which increases the quality of work. So should you buy the iPad Air for Photoshop? The answer is if you are going to pick the iPad Pro, consider the iPad Air as well. Because of its lower price, the number 5 position is held by Samsung Galaxy Tab A7. If you are looking for a budget tablet for photo retouching and basic editing tasks, then the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7 is an ideal option to consider. It comes at a very affordable price for those who don't want to spend much. It has a big screen on the front, a large battery, and excellent speakers. The main highlight of this affordable Tab A7 is its super purposeful big screen that is perfect for photo editing purposes. In addition, it provides plenty of space, making the editing very seamless by giving room for the tools at the bottom. The display is TFT, so it comprises colors and viewing angles, which is acceptable for the price. Under the hood, hood, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 packs the Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 chip, which handles most daily tasks very well. However, while doing power-demanding tasks, it does start to slow up, so it is not intended for the pros. On the other hand, it houses Adreno 610, so it performs quite well while gaming. So, if you think of starting with Photoshop on an Android tablet for basic editing and retouching, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 is the best large tablet to consider. The number 6 position is dominated by Microsoft Surface Go 2. After years of development to convince us that a tablet could replace a laptop, Microsoft has finally delivered excellence with the Surface Go 2. Housing a lightweight design, this tablet is a total portable beast. A perfectly sized display and just right aspect ratio make the Surface go to one of the best screens to look into those intricate details needed for editing and Photoshop. This also solidified the Surface's position as the gold standard for budget Windows tablets. Microsoft's tablet adds the latest Intel Pentium Gold processor and a handful of hardware and software tweaks. Still, it doesn't radically change the DNA of its predecessor, the original Surface Go, but as a very refined product. The Surface Go 2 doesn't come at a cheap price. The wide variety of configuration options and accessories means that its starting price of $460 is not realistic. A tablet can replace a laptop. This statement has been proven perfectly right. This beautiful beast comes with a touchscreen magnetic stylus and a detachable keyboard for our convenient Photoshop and other applications usage. All in all, the Surface Go 2 is the complete winner and is one of the best tablets for Photoshop with flying colors. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Wacom Intuos VTL4100. The Wacom Intuos Draw is an affordable battery-free tablet for Photoshop and digital artists. It replaces your keyboard, mouse, and gives better accuracy to edit your photos in Photoshop. The tablet is pressure sensitivity enabled which means you can draw a variety of lines depending on the pressure you apply. Moreover. The Art Rage Light sketching and drawing software, online tutorials, and a free AX metal photo print are included within the package for beginners who are just starting with digital artwork. There are four express customizable keys on the tablet on which you can place your favorite shortcuts at your fingertips. There is no need to worry about connectivity as it supports all the devices running on Windows and Mac operating systems via USB cable. On a conclusive note, the Wacom Intuos Draw is one of the best tablets for Photoshop that you can buy under the budget of $100. The number 8 position is held by HUEN Canvas Pro 13 GT133. The HUEN Canvas has won hearts of many digital artists with its long range of specifications at budget price. It features a bright 19 IPS display with resolution of 1920 x 1080 pixels which is ideal for photo editing using Photoshop or Illustrator. The 120% sRGB color gamut and 3000 one contrast ratio produces 16.7 million colors brightly and vividly. 
Working on here in Canvas Pro is very responsive with the 266 PPS report rate, which promises lag-free and faster recognition. The pen that comes within the package is 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is found in the Wacom Pro Pen 2. The Huion Pen is very comfortable to hold and provides it grip while working, thanks to its improved ergonomics over the previous versions. The setup is quite easy. You just have to connect the canvas with your PC slash laptop running on Windows or MAC via USB Type-C and HDMI cable. Overall, the Huion Canvas is one of the best budget graphics tablets for photo editing using Photoshop. It is also ideal for digital painting. So if you are looking for a drawing tablet, the Huion Canvas Pro is an ideal option to consider. Next at number 9, we have Wacom and Choose Pro PTH660. The Wacom and Choose Pro is available in three variants small slash medium slash large. Recently, Wacom updated their Intuos tablet with newer version Intuos Pro, which is far better when it comes to accuracy. Featuring 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, the Wacom Intuos Pro enables you to draw a variety of lines depending on the pressure you apply. What's impressive about this tablet is that it weighs only 1.5 pounds. Means you can easily toss this tablet in your laptop bag and carry anywhere without any kind of discomfort. Made with premium materials like anodized aluminum and glass fiber, the Wacom Intuos Pro is surely one of the best-looking graphics tablets out there. The new Wacom Pro Pen 2 is very lightweight yet powerful, 4x accurate than previous versions, which comfortably sits against your knuckle. The buttons on the pen really have good tactile feedback, and they are placed a bit lower compared to the older one, so that you can access them easily while working. You will definitely appreciate these improved ergonomics over a long session of drawing or photo editing. Features like multi-touch gestures, Radial menus and customizable express keys will definitely help you to maximize your workflow. The setup is painless with the Bluetooth connectivity so that you can start drawing straight out of the box, or you can also connect the USB cable provided within the package. All in all, the Wacom and Chuos Pro is highly recommended graphics tablet for photo editors who are expecting good value for money. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Wacom 1 DT Cone 133W0A. The Wacom One is the newest tablet in the lineup of Wacom, which features a 13.3 high resolution 16, 9 display that delivers impressive picture clarity with vibrant colors, featuring a beautiful new slim design. The Wacom One looks like an ultrabook when seen from the sides. Weighing just 4.3 ounces, the Wacom One is easy to carry anywhere in your backpack just like a laptop, thanks to its slim and lightweight design. Moreover, the Wacom One features the next-generation Wacom Pen with the most advanced pen technology. According to Wacom, the new pen delivers Tooks greater pen accuracy than its predecessor which enables you to draw anything that you can imagine. The pressure sensitivity of 4096 levels which enables you to draw a variety of lines depending on the amount of pressure you apply. To maximize your workflow, there are several multi-touch gestures which let you zoom, pan and navigate through a sweep of your fingers. Overall, the Wacom One is one of the best tablets for Photoshop and Illustrator that delivers best accuracy and portability. It is also an ideal tablet for teachers who conduct online lectures. That's all for today. All the product links in the description down below. We upload videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.